<coughs> good morning everyone in previous session we will start our subject is theory of computation in that also we started our first unit as a regular language and regular expression as well as a finite automata so in that regular language and regular expression we discuss first what is the regular language then we discuss about what is the regular expression okay so simply look how a regular language is like that a regular language consists of major two component first component is three basic languages and the second component is three operations so already we discussed ki the basic language is first language is null language consists alphabet i will null null alphabet we denote null by using a epsilon <coughs> symbol as well as it consists the schemes of the null alphabets then the second language is simple language that simple language we consider the string in simple simple language by using alphabets a b or the combination of the a b or we call it alphabets like a zero one also so third is empty language empty language means simply we define empty language consists no any element and we denote that empty language by opening and closing curly brackets or we call it null uh, theta this is the one part of our basic, uh, regular language is the basic language and the second part of our regular language is three operations first operation is union operation second is concatenation both these operations are the binary operate operations means we require at least two regular language for performing these two operations and the sec, uh, sorry third operation is the cleanse operations operation so cleanse operations we require a single regular language and the cleanse operation we call it repetitively if we call in a alphabet or we made repetitively calling the strings we require operation as the cleanse operation for example these are the some regular languages also we discuss how we construct the regular expression from using the regular language there are the basic two rules first rule is nothing but we have to remove the curly brackets or we call to just replace the curly brackets by the round parentheses and the second is nothing but we have to replace union symbol or the comma symbol that we denote for the union operation we replace that union and comma symbol by the plus we got one kind of expression that simple of, uh, expression we call as a regular expression for example these are some and this is the regular languages and the respective regular expression is likewise also we discuss there are the some rules by using that the rules we convert the regular language into regular expression first rule is nothing but the five five nothing but the empty language is part of our regular language and regular expression as simple as it is second null language is an element of our regular language then we simply replace the curly bracket by the round parenthesis and null alphabet as it is then third rule is nothing but basic languages basic languages consists the strings of alphabets either zero one or ab or any kind of alphabets we simply replace the curly bracket by the round parenthesis and uh, all other means uh, as it is means a alphabet set if there are the two languages r1 and r2 and the corresponding regular expression defined by using these rules if l1 union l2 is there then it's a regular language uh, sorry regular expression corresponding regular expression is likewise same for the concatenation same for the cleanse already we discussed that after we discuss how we construct the regular language and the regular expression of the given statement part before that also we discuss how we prove the given uh, formula means lhs equals to rhs so also we uh, solve one example of that also after that we also solve one example of how we construct the regular language and regular expression of the given statement also so i hope the remaining example you for all solve but if it is not then let we discuss one by one so we are take uh, one uh, number of examples means after the discussion of the number of examples i think we will be able to clear the idea how we construct the regular language and regular expression over the given uh, set of alphabets either zero one or we call it ab for the given statement also so the first statement is nothing but the strings ending with one so for the strings ending with one we have to construct the regular language and the regular expression the question asks likewise simple as we find the regular language and regular expression of the corresponding to each of the following subsets of 0 comma 1 star and these are the given statement now we have to find the regular language and the regular expression for the given statement part the statement part 
first is the strings ending with one. So for the strings ending with one, we have to construct the regular language and the regular expression. So how it is possible? Let we have to discuss likewise. So the our problem is nothing but we have to construct the strings and that strings consist alphabets, but the alphabet is ending with one. Okay. Because the our condition is each and every strings of the given language ends with one. Means the strings is a likewise this one second. The starting of the strings doesn't matter. Means either epsilon, either zero, either one one, or the combinations of zero one zero, or the combinations simply at zero zero. Doesn't matter. But like why is here? Means these are the strings, and these are the strings having its end alphabet is one here. So this kind of a strings we have to take for our regular language part here. Okay, get it or not? So each and every string of the given language must be end with one. Forget about the starting. Starting is either epsilon, either zero, either one, or the combinations of zero as well. Okay, so this is our uh, logic for the constructing regular language and regular expression for the given statement as string ending with y. So before that discussion, how we construct the uh, regular language and regular expression, let we discuss in a briefly how we make union concatenation and cleans of the given language part. Okay, so consider this is our uh, language L1. Language L1 consists alphabet as a zero. We called it is for example in the language L2. Consist alphabet as one here. So what is the union of L1 and L2? So L1 union L2 is means we have to combine the elements of L1 as well as the L2 means zero one. So it is our union part here. How about the concatenation? L1 concat L2. Remember that by default here is a dot part. So we have to make the concatenation of L1 to L2 means first we have to select the alphabet from the L1 and make the concatenation to L2's first alphabet means we got 0 1 here is a missing of comma means we just contact concat 0 and 1 to here okay so these are the concat part of L1 union L2 so what about L1 star now means we have to repeatedly Call zeros means first star starts from the null, then single alphabet of that language, then we have to call repetitively means zero to zero, triple times zero. Likewise, we have to make infinite. Yeah. So this is the basically part we require for our uh, construction of regular language and regular expression means. Union is likewise, concatenation is likewise, and star is likewise. So forget, uh, sorry, uh, now we have to discuss about L1 is likewise double zero. So how make it L1 star? L1 star is likewise first as it is epsilon. So here is the concatenation of double zero. If the first string is double zero forget about it. Uh, remember one thing that now second is four times zero likewise we have to make the strings for the content uh, so claims part okay i okay you people are getting how we implement union concatenation and cleans part there now we have to switch to our uh, example part means how we construct the regular language and regular expression for the given a statement, our given statement is each and every strings end with one. Okay, so our alphabet part is zero comma one. It is our given part. Means we have to given we have to make the strings on alphabets as a zero one, and it is our example number first. So how we make the strings of the alphabet zero and one? But the criteria is each and every strings ends with one only. 
means the single one is our part okay then double one is also our part because end of the strings is one likewise zero one is also our part likewise zero one zero one is also our part likewise double one sorry double one one is also our part epsilon one is also our part double epsilon one is also our part Likewise, four times one is also our part. Likewise, double zero one is also our part. Okay, so such strings is infinite um, because we construct number of strings by using zero one and the condition is ending with one here. Okay, so each and every strings having end is one. Yes. Yes or no? So this is our regular language and we give name as L1. So L1 is a regular language and this language consists all the strings ending with 1. Okay. So how we minimize this regular language into our format? So for that purpose, here is our 1. Okay, and we have to start any means either epsilon, either zero, either one. Means we start either zero or one. Okay, or its combinations means we have to make epsilon. To start suggest here, the first alphabet is null or we call the combinations of 0 and 1 okay so this is our regular language for the given statement sorry here is we have to write as l1 is a regular language and that regular language consists what consists each and every strings ends with one. Okay. <clears throat> so how we convert this regular language into regular expression? So for that we have to we have to replace <clears throat> what we have to replace? We have to replace the curly brackets by round parenthesis and this comma we have to replace by plus sign means this is our regular language and it's a regular expression corresponding corresponding regular expression is likewise we just replace this curly bracket by and this is our final output okay so, this is our regular expression, this is our regular language for the given statement. Okay, remember one thing that each and every string ends with 1. Okay, so it is our required answer. So, what about second statement? Second statement is the strings ending with 1 0. Strings ending with one zero means here is a logic is like each and every string of that language <coughs> in that language ends with one zero means starting forget about it starting either epsilon either uh, epsilon either one either zero either the combinations of one zero then etc then etc. But you know to focus each and every string and with one chain. So how it is possible? Here is our second second question. So the language consists the string and that strings end with zero one. Means first string is likewise. Second string is also part of our language. Third string is also part of our language 
fourth stream is also part of our language. Double one zero one is also part of our language. Likewise, okay. And that strings we prepared by using the set of alphabet. So remember one thing that we, this symbol suggests here. Uh, set of alphabets means the epsilon represents a set of alphabets as our 0 1. So, this 0 1 by using that 0 1 we prepare this language and that language each and every strings end with what is each and every strings end with 1 name. sorry 0 1 sorry we have to take the note 0 1 but remember one thing that the starting of that string is any any in the sense one zero or the combinations of zero one or we call the epsilon also. okay so the regular language rl of the given strings is start one or one this uh, comma represent here as well as or okay so if we want to make the combinations of these we have to make it clings here means we have to write here clings and the ending part is we require zero one so each and every string of the given regular language ends with a zero one and the starting is any any means the combinations of zero one epsilon and etc so this part concats to 0 and parts here. okay so this is our regular language for uh, strings ending with a 0 1 here. more simplification means 0 1 star so this is 0 1 star how we make it strings 0 1 star so 0 1 star the first string will be epsilon second 0 third 1 2 times 0 one time two times one likewise strings we receive for this and our second part is a zero one second part sorry the second part is uh zero one so what is the resultant part means we have to make first part and our second part concatenation of these two so what is the resultant will be the resultant will be epsilon 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 <coughs> likewise 2 times 0 1 likewise we receive the strings of the given language okay so we just explain how it is okay so this is our regular language of our second uh, uh, example so how we convert that regular language into regular expression so for that so this is our regular language of our second example zero one uh, and ends with zero one so how we convert the, uh, this regular language into regular expression? Simply rule is we have to replace these curly brackets by round parentheses. We have to write zero as it is, and the comma or union we have to make by plus one as it is. We have to make the star also as it is, and zero one like. So this is our regular language and the regular expression of our second example also. okay people are getting the point how we construct the regular language and regular expression of our given statement is string ending with 0 1 so what about the second uh, third string starting in 1 is contrast to our first example the string starting in 1 means ending any means either 0, either 1 or the combinations of 0 as well as 1 or the epsilon doesn't matter so how we write here so this is our third example strings ending with uh, string ending with uh, sorry string starting with 0 
Okay, so we have to construct the strings on the alphabets as 0, 1. Okay, so how it is? So the regular language, so the regular language is likewise 0, 0, 1, double 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0s likewise. Okay, so each and every string starts from the zeros here and ends either 1, either 0 or the combinations of these or epsilon here. So how we write the regular language in simplified mode? So for the simplified mode of our regular language is equals to we have to start each and every string by 0 means 0 is our starting part. We have to make the concat to any, any is nothing but either 0, either 1 or the star. So this is our regular language. Okay. So how we make it a regular expression? How we make it a regular expression? We have to write 0 as it is. We have to replace that curly brackets by round parentheses. 0 as it is, we have to replace this comma by plus and the 1 as it is and we have to make star of it. Okay, so this is our regular language and the regular expression of the given statement as a string starting with J. I hope you people are get, getting this example also. Okay, then third string starting in one zero same same is the fourth example we have to make the strings over the alphabets as zero one okay so the regular language condition is each and every strings starting with 0 1 means 0 1 becomes our first then 0 1 0 second string will be 0 1 double 1 third string will be 0 triple times 1 maybe here means condition is that each and every string starts with 0 1 and doesn't matter and either 0 either 1 double 1 or any part or nothing else means the simplified version of our regular language is strings starting in a 0 1 and ends either 0 either 1 or the combinations Com for making the combinations or repetitively for we have to write as a star this is 0 1 star so this 0 1 star we i am just repetitively explain how it is 0 1 star is nothing but First character or the first alphabet is null, then the second is 0, third 1, or repeatedly calling 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 3, 4 times 0, 3 times 0, etc. These strings is the part of that 0, 1 string. Okay? So, our uh, regular language is 0 1 and 0 comma 1 star. So how we convert this regular language into regular expression? As usual our formula we have write 0 1 as it is we have contact this part means we just replace 0 plus 1 So this is the regular language, this is the regular expression of the fourth problem, the string starting in 0 part. What about fifth? Strings of length 6 or less. Now here is a challenging task. So each and every string of our language having a length is 6 or less means not a maximum, oh sorry, maximum 6, minimum 
in in means either zero or null. That's how it is. Now let's see. So this is our fifth problem. Fifth problem. We have to apply the strings on this set of alphabets zero and one. The condition is like we have to construct the strings, but the strings having maximum length six. Okay, means in our regular language, the set of string is like what? Either epsilon s, or we call it zero s, or one s, double time one. Two times zero s, three times zero one s means each and every string is having a length one two two three means its minimum uh, minimum to six means we have to make or uh, we have to construct the strings having a length maximum six okay means we have to Collect one, 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 one. Six times one is our final string of our regular language. So remember one thing that if these regular languages not become infinite because we have to limit as six. Here. Okay. So the last string will be this because the length of that last string must be six. Here. Okay. So this is our regular language with its set bar. So now how we Reduce or how we simplify it. So for the simplification, we have to write epsilon is our part, or we call zero, or we call one. So we have to make the combinations of these three alphabets. But we are not now here putting as a star because if we are written here star, then it becomes as a repetitive call and it goes on infinite. But we have to restrict only for the sixth year. So that's why we have to write here 6 because the maximum length of our string is 6. That's why we have to write here 6 here. So how we convert this regular language into regular expression? Simple way. Regular expression. We have to replace the curly bracket by open parentheses. Epsilon, we have to replace comma by plus and the six. So this is our regular expression, this is our regular language of the given statement as the strings having the maximum uh, length as a six. Okay, length six or less here. Okay, and repeat it again. It is epsilon, uh, means our set of alphabets as a zero one. So we have to make the strings, but the precaution is that key we have to make a strings having length six or less by using these alphabets. So this is our strings part here. We have to may, uh, simplify this language by using this part here. But remember with that we have to write here a six because our set of strings means the given regular language is finite. So finite. On a six here means maximum length six, so that's why we have to return here six. So this is our regular language, and we simplify this regular language with regular expression by simply replacing our curly brackets by uh, round parentheses and replacing comma by plus. Okay, so I think it's simple. So it is the sixth, six also challenge strings ending in one but not containing zero here. Remember one thing that the string end with one but not containing zero zero. Okay, here is the two condition. Our strings must be end. Six problem. We have to take zero comma one as it is. But the condition is that for the constructing strings is string ending with one but not containing what is 0 0 means 1 possible 0 1 is also possible then 1 0 1 is also 1 0 1 0 1 is also there our but 1 0 0 1 is not part of our thing because it's not containing 0 0 
so such strings is our part of our regular language yeah. so question arises how we construct okay so strings containing 1 or 0 1 okay means it ends with 1 here is also 1 but it not contains 0 1 uh, double zero here so 1 comma 0 1 is our basic part here means 1 comma 0 1 is ending part of our string but the starting of these strings either 0 or 1 okay if we are taken as as usual means our previous example we we'll start as 0 comma 1 star and written uh, sorry right like wise right likewise means uh, sorry as usual 1 comma 0 1 then what is the problem now problem is like that okay? if we are selecting 0 from here this string sorry this alphabet and this alphabet then we got the strings likewise and if this string contains double zero part so this is not our uh, problem part because we are not containing double zero here. So we have to not take this part zero one star here. So what we do now for that? So we have to make cleanse of this part only, and it will become our starting part. Here. So what is our final string? Final string is likewise. Likewise, in the sense 1 plus 0 1 star, and we have to make end with 1 or 0 1. Okay, I hope okay, you are getting and how it's sorry, uh, here is a regular expression by mistakenly we get in the regular expression. So, what is the regular language 1 or 0 1? star and ending part uh, ending part is likewise 1 or 0 1 so what is the regular expression simply we have to replace the curly brackets by round parenthesis and comma by comma by Okay, so this is a regular la expression. This is our regular language of the strings or the problem string ending with one but not containing zero. So now, last question language of C identifiers it is for your homework purpose. So you have to take, uh, I am giving hint here. So, language of C identifier, how we define the C identifier? C identified consists the alphabets, capital alphabets, small alphabets. So this L is becomes as our uh, sorry L L is become one set and that set consists alphabet set alphabet either capital or small okay up to and the second what is the rule for uh, uh, defining identifiers in C? Second we have to take digits digits. For 0 to 9 and last we have to take underscore here this ld and underscore we require for uh, uh, defining identifiers but the condition is that key our identifier starts for l or d uh, sorry l or underscore it not start from d okay so this is our condition you have to try solve or you have to try construct the regular language and regular expression for the same usual language of C identifiers and I hope you people are received the answer. If it is not received then please contact to me. We will solve it. But you have to at least try to solve this uh, regular language and regular expression for the language of C identifiers. I hope you people are now getting the ideas how we construct the regular language and regular expression of the given statement part. In the, question, uh, in the exam, the question may be asked to construct the regular language and regular expression of the following given statement. So, you have to solve this likewise. Okay. So, if any queries regarding that, 
be just this free to contact me. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day.